All right, guys. This is one I've been waiting to do and waiting to show you. This is a very special car. I, I'm i gonna show it to you, but let me tell you how special it is. This is a Westphalia. If you look at it, it's a 75. So in California, gets right, it's a smog legal bus. How about that? That is, that is, that is the value in this bus to start with. So I'm gonna go over it. It's gonna surprise you. Don't be surprised. Let's let's check it out. Okay. So we starting with this bus. Let me give you a clue of what we got going on here. Okay, that's going to give you a clue of what we got here. And if you look at it, it looks like a bus that, you know, you can take and go camping obviously. And the color, the yellow is bright. It's beautiful. Goes down the road wonderfully. But the part I want to share with you is what we did to this bus. Now, I'm going to bring you to the back of the car. Take a look at, take a look at that. What do you think we got going on there? Exactly. Check it out. Check this out. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a three liter Porsche 911. And that's right, that's air conditioning and it blows ice cold in this car. So I did this conversion. There's your CD box. There's your fuel accumulator. And there's your oil tank back in there. There you go. Okay. As you can see, the only giveaway is that muffler is the only giveaway that this is not your stock bus. Okay, so I want to let you listen to this thing. And it's it's uh, music to your ears. And you guys that have these buses, you should know that this conversion is probably the way they should have made them. Check it out. So what I did was I put the 911 generator oil gauge in the dash right we installed all that in there and i did put a cooler in this which i'll show you let's you got to listen to this watch this you hear your fuel pumps there it is. listen to that You can hear that really well because it's pretty amazing. This thing is the funnest thing to drive. Listen to this. <laughs> Let me set it off now. All right, so. 75 80 mile an hour bus uphill when you drive this thing people are trying to go around you because they think that it's just a normal bus and you're going to be the slow guy and then on the street doesn't happen with this one this one pulls hard it's in front of the pack up the up the grades doesn't get hot runs super cool and then you got a camping bus when you get there i mean it's got everything in it the pop out comes up the material on that is all in great condition, and it's just it's just a cool thing. And then the, you know the 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 material on the seats, the colors, it's just really cool. So so the owner the owner of this bus he he called me up and he says, hey, I bought a bus. It's restored. I want to do a uh, thing and doing a six cylinder Porsche conversion. So I was like, well. Let's do it, you know, why not? And uh, so we did We did the conversion. It wasn't easy, I had to figure this and that out. We took the transmission to Rancho Transaxles in, uh, he's in Corona. He did a freeway flyer transmission in it. And then uh, I rebuilt the motor, did a top end on it, cause it was a low mile motor and made my bracket. I had to cut a few things out of here and there, make it work. And uh, it just, it's just an amazing bus. And here's the beauty of it. This bus is up for sale now. And you can buy this bus. 
Um, we go to a show in Lake Havasu. It's called Buses by the Bridge. I didn't see anything with a 911 motor in there. You can find some online and everything, but to own one, it's another animal. I mean, it is, it is, it puts a smile on your face when you're going through the gears. Believe me, it is very fun to drive. It was a, it was a, a, a task that I had never done. And I just, you know, I, and you know, the owner talked about doing it and I said, you know what, let's, let's, let's tackle it. it it's, it's doable. I've seen them online. Let's do that. So it is an amazing bus. I got to tell you, it's, it's been, it's been, it was quite a treat. It took a little bit of time to do. Um, and the whole bus is nice. It was restored before we did the conversion. And um, it's just, it's done very tasteful. It looks stock and original. And that's what I like about it. It doesn't look like uh, it has, you know, that six cylinder in there. But when you're driving around in it, everybody knows it's, an, it's the first one to the light. I'll tell you that. And we did lower the front of it two inches to level it out because of the weight of the engine. And um, that, that's 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 about all I can tell you about. It. I mean, and, and and now that it's up for sale, it's this is a really a real treat for somebody to own. And um, you can contact me about buying this bus. I will give you the price. I'll set I can set it up. And uh, you know, you want to take it for a ride, but believe me, if you come out and you take it for a ride, you're probably going to be writing a check for it because it's really exciting to drive. And it's not. It's not something that you got to drive local. This bus has been to San Diego with no issues. Like I said, it runs cool. It's air cooled. It was an air cooled car to start with, so it was meant for it. Underneath the bus, I have a Carrera oil cooler that will uh, will keep it. That's on a fan, on a switch. You hit the switch, it cools it off. Um, so far, there has really been no situation where it even, you know, got past where you know past the uh, operating temperature anyway so um that that's what i can tell you about this guy and and remember 1975 so guess what there's no smog to deal with in in california or most states um that's a big plus and and honestly if it was a 76 i would have told him we don't we're we don't need to do this project because that that just kills the deal to try to deal getting it smogged otherwise which is really difficult nowadays so that's that's what makes this bus so special so anyway so that's um that's what i got to tell you about it right now let me know if you're interested in it i i can set up a a date a time if you want to come out like i said and look it over and dry and the other thing i want to let you know this thing has no rust it started off with a great bus to start with and that was the only reason to do the conversion because you don't you don't want to do a conversion on a bus that's not as uh you know, not a good start. So all the pans, everything in the bus is original, all the floors, everything's original in it. Nothing's been cut and changed. And that that's, that's what I can tell you about it. So let me know, like I said, let me know in the comments if you want to check it out. And it was, like I guess it was a really fun build. We'll do some driving videos of it later. Um, hopefully uh, somebody on the channel gets to see it and thinks, well, heck, that's what I want. Cause um, I'm telling you, if you drive it, you're probably going to buy it. <laughs> That's all I can tell you guys. All right, I'm out. You guys uh, have a great day. We're in West Hills. The bus is in uh, California in the San Fernando Valley. And um, we, uh, like I said, we can help you make connection with it. Okay, well, very good. Glad you're watching. Uh, hit your likes and uh, subscribe to our channel. And I've got some more interesting cars. And like I said, we'll do a, we'll do a run video of it later. All right, very good.